Hi, I'm Robbie. If you're watching this video, we've probably met. It may have been a just quick hello in passing, or maybe we go back, way back even. But regardless of our relationship, we don't often have time to talk. So thank you for taking the time to get to know me better. I have to be honest, I'm very nervous about making this video. I'm opening myself up on a level that I'm really not comfortable with doing. But as I pass by each day, I want to tell you more. I want to tell you about what's really going on in my life because for the first time ever, I am so overcome with joy and peace and hope and purpose that I can't hardly contain myself. To be candid, I'm afraid I won't be able to pass by you again without bursting at the seams, however inappropriate it may be at that time. But if I'm being honest, I haven't always felt this way. I haven't always felt like I had a reason to be genuinely happy. Even though I gave my life to Christ at a young age, I was raised by loving Christian parents. I grew up in church. I went to Christian school. I was active in my youth group. I had so many things going for me. I don't remember feeling like this. There was something holding me back. There was something I knew about myself that nobody else knew. Something that was so deep and so personal and something that went against all that I had been taught. I lived in constant fear that someone would figure it out, that someone could somehow look in my eyes and just see right through me. I knew that something would crush so many people around me and bring about so much pain that I was just scared and lonely and hopeless. The truth is, this something that kept me living in fear was my attraction to guys. I couldn't understand where it came from or why I had it. All I knew is that I'd been attracted to guys for as long as I can remember. Since I knew that homosexuality was condemned in the Bible, I was so confused as to why I had these feelings. So I prayed so hard that the Lord would take them away from me. But as I got older and continued to mature, they were still there. I felt so lost and lonely and so scared. I tried to have a relationship with God, but deep down inside, it just wasn't there. I never felt Him in my life. I was becoming angry and confused, and it wasn't long before I turned my back on God altogether. I ran from God and anything to do with Christianity for the next 14 years. Those 14 years ushered in more pain, hurt, and rejection than I could have ever imagined. I haven't quite gathered enough courage to tackle those details yet, but maybe at a later time I'll share more with you about how God was working in me. What God did next in my life is simply amazing. He took me, a broken man who had given up all hope, and somehow gave me, that man, hope. Something no other man or relationship had ever been able to offer. He began to instill in me a desire to seek Him, one that I'd never had before. He took all that pain, all that heartache from those 14 years, and He used it in my life as a tool to pull me closer to Him. It may seem hard to understand how through heartache, God was showing me His love, but the truth is, it drove me to a point that I'd never been before, in desperate need of Him, and fully, fully aware of that need. Had it not been for that heartache and pain, I would have spent the rest of my life alone without hope. I would have missed out on the one and only man I was made to love and to love for the rest of my life. What I didn't realize was that my attraction to guys was just one of the many barriers Satan uses in our lives to keep us from experiencing God's love. We all have different barriers or sins in our lives, but because God loves us so much, He not only relentlessly pursues us, but He also sent His Son Jesus to earth to suffer physical death on a cross to remove these barriers of sin. Because of Jesus' death, we are free to experience more love than ever before with God. It's amazing how the God who created us, the one who knows exactly what's best for us, wants to be in a relationship with us. 
All we have to do is believe in Him and surrender our lives to Him. Isn't this exciting? Isn't this enough to make us genuinely happy? I think so. In fact, I know so because He has rescued me from a life of hopelessness and shown me what it feels like to be loved. If you want to experience what it feels like to be rescued, follow the link below or click the resources tab at rescued.info for more information on the most amazing love that you'll ever experience. Thank you for taking the time to get to know the real me. I want you to know that I love you and I will pray for you in any way I can and that I really don't always cry this much. Feel free to send me a message if you have any questions or if someone you know is hurting and needs prayer. If you have a story you want to share of how our loving God has rescued you, please do so at rescued.info.